Hey everyone, so today I'm gonna take you on a grocery haul. Probably not actually shoot much in the store, but when I come back with all my groceries from Whole Foods, I'm gonna go over some of the things that I buy normally when I head out to my favorite health food store, which is Whole Foods. So that's the topic of today's video. Stay tuned, I'm gonna come back and show you everything that I bought so you can get some ideas of some healthy organic groceries for yourself, so stay tuned. And I'll be back with my grocery Grocery haul. See you in a sec. Hey guys, it's me. Just finishing up here at Whole Foods, which is my favorite health food store in the area that I live in. We have lots of good stores around here. We have Wegmans, we have Trader Joe's, we just got a brand new store called Sprouts, but yet I still wind up going back to Whole Foods. Uh, especially this one because it's very quiet, very organized, and um, actually the prices are not as bad as they used to be. So, didn't get very much, but once I get home, we're gonna go over some of the items that I bought. So real quick for the ride home, I picked up one of these new drinks from Rebel. This is the Reishi chocolate. I usually get the green tea matcha latte, but today I wanted to try something different. This one's chocolate. It is amazing. Uh, the matcha latte is good too. It's with coconut milk. Great ingredients. So I like to treat myself to a healthy drink on the ride home because it's a long ride for me. All right, I'll see you when I get home. Hey guys, so I'm back from my run to Whole Foods today. Now today I didn't get all of the groceries that I normally get. Um, I had dental surgery the other day. So right now I'm eating kind of soft and mushy food. So I uh, actually have a pretty small amount of stuff that I got today, but I wanted to show you some of the things that I generally buy because Whole Foods has such a great selection of organic healthy foods. So here we go. So one way that I make my smoothies is I use frozen berries. Um, I usually get strawberries. They're my favorite, low glycemic. Got to get them organic. Um, these were on sale today for Prime Member, so I got some of those. I've been experimenting with some of these low calorie uh, sort of dairy-free popsicles since I uh, have this issue with the dental stuff. So I've been trying out different brands, Good Pop, and this is from So Delicious. This is made with coconut milk. I had these uh, last week. They were extremely good fudge bars, only 100 calories. This is something that I buy on a regular basis. This is sustainable farm salmon. So it's not wild salmon, but the way that they raise it is much better than regular farm raised salmon. And this is a really good price at Whole Foods. This is a huge container and uh, it lasts a pretty long time. Uh, so I really love salmon. It's a great source of omega-3, so I always get this. Uh, lemon juice, I use lemon juice every day in my green tea in the morning. Um, so instead of buying a ton of lemons, I generally get the organic lemon juice. This is something I recently started getting. These are grain-free cauliflower tortilla chips. So these are pretty tasty. They come in a couple different flavors. This one is nacho flavored. So um, this is a dairy-free item from Kite Hill. They have quite a few different products. They have a bunch of cheeses and they have yogurts and a few other things. I love their dairy-free regatta. This is made with almond milk. It is extremely delicious. So if you can find Kite Hill, this is a really great product. They also have a new one that I haven't tried yet. This is a French onion dip. So I'm gonna try this out and see how that tastes. So I like to get grain-free um, tortillas to put you know, to use uh, for sandwiches and um, things like that. So these are made from cassava from Mikey's. So in my smoothies, I always use coconut milk, sometimes almond, but generally coconut milk. So today I got the large coconut milk uh, from So Delicious Organic. So uh, yogurt, I generally will get uh, either a goat, sheep, or from the Kite Hill. So today I decided to get a goat plain goat yogurt. This is really, really delicious. Um, there's actually a local farmer I've been getting one from, but I just ran out. Uh, but this one is good too. I've had this in the past. Let's see what else we got. This is a Whole Foods mild salsa. They always make really great salsas. This is really awesome too. This is a raw milk cheese. So it's grass fed and raw, not pasteurized. These are blue cheese crumbles. These are extremely good. I'm not sure if you can see this, but, uh, yeah, this is really good. I, I love to sprinkle this on salads. I didn't get a lot of things crunchy. I did get some romaine because this will probably last long enough for me to eat it in, in about a couple days to a week. But I love a variety of different lettuces when I make salad. So romaine is one of those. 
Now, this is something I recently discovered, kava hummus. They make different flavors. Last week I had one that was caramelized onion, which was the best hummus I've ever had in my entire life. This week I got the larger container of the traditional hummus. I wanted to try this one out too. This is a nice mushy food that I can definitely eat right now. I got some smoked turkey breast, organic. I'm able to chew this somewhat. I've tried it already the other day. So turkey breast, good source of protein. Here's some organic pepperoni. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to chew this very well, but hopefully it'll last. Avocados, this is a staple in my diet. I use these almost every day, especially in my smoothies. Here's another amazing product that I recently discovered. Ah, it's actually the same company as the hummus, kava. This is a lemon herb tahini sauce. Now, I sometimes make my own tahini sauce. It's pretty easy to make, but in a pinch, it's really easy to use this. Tahini sauce is great on a lot of different things. I like to use it, especially on chicken. So you gotta check this out. This is really awesome. And then um, here is Lily's dark chocolate. This is sweetened with stevia, so it's much lower in calories and sugar, which is really awesome. No, no sugar added at all, as a matter of fact. And this is 70% cacao. And then, um, I already talked about this on the way here. This company, Rebel, they make these really amazing drinks. They have a bunch of different kinds. I just drank this one on the way home. It's the reishi mushroom chocolate one. Didn't taste like mushrooms at all. But anyway, this was extremely good. It, it kind of tasted like a coconutty chocolate milk. It was so delicious, I couldn't believe it. So anyway, this is my Whole Foods run now. Of course, Whole Foods is not your average grocery store. It was a little bit on the expensive side, but I honestly only go there for the specialty products that they have that other stores don't have. So in other words, I try to get my staples, like my produce and my meats and those kinds of things from other stores. Like around here, we have something called ShopRite and then Walmart has a good selection of organic stuff. So I'll do a video on the Walmart run that I do. Um, once in a while, I go to Trader Joe's. Sometimes I go to Wegmans. But like I said, I go to Whole Foods to get these specialty products that nobody else around here has. And uh, I love that particular store that's that's uh, you know near me. So anyway, so this is my Whole Foods run. It, it was, like I said, it was kind of on the expensive side. Um, you know, about 150 bucks. Um, you know, it's quite a bit for these couple of things. Um, but I don't go there all the time. And I, like I said, I stock up at other stores for the things that I use every day. All right, guys, so thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful for you. Uh, let me know in the comments, where do you do your grocery shopping? Do you go to specialty stores? Do you shop at Whole Foods? I would love to know. So please let me know in the comments and I will see you next time. Bye.